I want to talk about something that narcissistic mothers do to their sons. It's very common for narcissistic mothers to put their sons on pedestals while they hate their daughters. But this happens sometimes in the home where the father is present, right? And what she'll be doing at this time is actually devaluing the spouse or her partner, the child's father, whoever she's with. It's a way that she can devalue them while she gets her needs met. It's never about her children. Listen, you got to really really understand that narcissists serve only themselves if they appear to care and love about love somebody it's an appearance it's an illusion it's not real there's something that serves their needs so when we look at emotional incest really it is parental it's, um, it's parental abuse but she relies on her son for support and emotional support at that she relies on him to feel that fulfill the needs that her partner should be doing but because she's devaluing the partner she's not going to him for that and she's not providing that for her partner what she does is she creates an environment of extreme dependence on her son her son is there to provide her with comfort with love and support but this is where it's twisted she can get that from an adult male her son needs that from her he needs comfort love and support so when does the child grow in self-trust in being able to see themselves and to have boundaries when the mother depends on the child for this it's parental abuse it's narcissistic abuse she, um, she ignores all of his needs everything that he needs she never nurtures this child and sometimes it gets so twisted and so perverted with some of these women that, you know, she even will walk around and parade herself unclothed, right, or scantily clad to fulfill her need and to ask her son, hey, how do I look? You know, they always push the envelope. And this is in the presence of the father and the child has been groomed, right? He's been groomed to be disrespectful to the father and to not love or to or to not love or respect the father, right? And so he is encouraged by the mother to say anything and everything derogatory to him. Now, when we see this play out in the context of this son now becoming an adult and seeking a relationship, the mother doesn't take her foot off his neck. She still accept, expects him to provide that. And so he can't give that to his woman. And so now we see women that are unfulfilled, fathers that have been ex abused by both mother and son. Listen, the female narcissist is a special kind of evil. 